Hello friends. Today we will do back exercise and back question answers of chapter number 3. Working with objects in word. Exercise is part A. Tick the correct answers. First, text button is present on the insert tab. Part B. Second, this feature lets a user insert decorative text styles in a document. Word art. Part A. Third, which of the following is not available in shapes menu? Pictures. Part C. Fourth, it is the intersection of a column and a row. Cell. Part A. Fifth, this group on the contextual layout tab contains the split cells option. Merge. Part B. Is fill in the blanks. First, dash option divides the selected cell into multiple new cells. Answer, split cells. Second, pressing the dash key moves the cursor to the next cell. Answer, tab. Third, pictures button is present in the dash group. Answer, illustrations group. Fourth, callouts is a category available in the dash drop down menu. Shapes. Fifth, rotation and resizing handles allow you to rotate and reside dash text box. Word art. Part C. Write T for true and F for false. First, you cannot modify a table once it is inserted. False. Second, shift plus tab key combination move the cursor to the last cell in a table. False. Third, you can add text in a shape. True. Fourth, it is necessary to select a shape before applying any effect to it. True. Fifth, Splitting cells divide the selected cells into multiple new cells. True. Part D. Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Why do we need to insert objects in a Word document? Answer. Inserting objects in a Word document can add visual impact on the reader and objects are useful when we want to add some special piece of information in our document. Question number 2. What is a text box? How is it different from a shape? Answer a text box is used to emphasize some special piece of information. Whereas shapes are ready-made shapes like lines, arrows and geometrical shapes to make a document interesting. Question number 3. Explain the use of word art feature. Answer, word art feature helps supply various effects to the text such as text fill, text outline and other decorative text styles in the document. Fourth, 
What is a table? List any two methods to insert a table. Also, a table arranges the data in the form of rows and columns. We can insert a table by using the table grid and using the insert table option. Question number 5. Differentiate between merge cells and splitting cells features. Answer. Merging refers to combining two or more selected cells. Splitting cells divides the selected cell into multiple new cells. Now let's come to AVAS activity zone. Find and encircle the words given in the grid. You can refer to the box for clue. The words are W O R D A R T Word Art Second T A B L E Table Third is M E R G E Merge Fourth one is C E double L S cells and the fifth one is S P O I T split text T E X T these are the answers of the grid thank you friends